This is a fish, a coho salmon to be exact, and it's just moved into the city of Surrey. It's a great place to live, with an expanding transit system, a hockey team, step you down Main Street, show team score! and most importantly for this little guy, a nice public park to spawn in. It wasn't always like this. Let's rewind to the 1950s, when Bonacord Creek was changed by engineers. They added a concrete section to the creek, hoping to prevent floods, but in the process, they increased the speed of the creek and reduced depth in that section. This was great if you were the little kid who loved to race fake rubber fish, but that wasn't great for our fishy pal. Suddenly, the salmon were unable to swim upstream to the quieter parts of the creek and stopped using the creek as a spawning ground. The Bonacord restoration is a project that's been over half a decade in the making, with work beginning in 2017. Since then, habitats have been built and log dams were removed. But the real star of the story is that 150 meter section of concrete. It was the choke point that was making fish passage near impossible. Enter our fishy hero, Flexi Baffles. Leanna Ayach with the City of Surrey's SHARP program says this project was a collaboration between Resilient Waters, Watershed Watch, Surrey, and even a local landowner. This project was completed using uh, flexible baffle structures. These flexi baffles are bolted along the bottom of the channel, which creates a slower water flow and gives salmon deep enough water to swim upstream. There are only 55 of these such projects of flexi baffles in North America, and I'm uh, happy to announce that this project is the largest of this kind to this date. They were installed by post-secondary and high school students working for Surrey Salmon Habitat Restoration Program, or SHARP for short. Finn Donnelly, he's an MLIM Parliamentary Secretary for Watershed Restoration, and he says Bonacord is a big win for Surrey's coho salmon. Uh, keeping wild salmon populations healthy and plentiful in BC's waters is of crucial importance to British Columbians and First Nations people, and an imperative for this government. With 150 meters of waterway equipped with flexi baffles, 2.5 kilometers of fish habitat has now been opened up. But Bonacord is just the tip of the iceberg. According to Dan Straker of Resilient Waters, the project represents one 2.5 kilometer stream out of about 1,500 kilometers of floodplain habitat. He says these waterways have been disconnected by about 156 different pieces of flood infrastructure in the lower mainland. The more we can reconnect these kinds of floodplain habitats, the better not just for salmon, but also for our communities to withstand uh, the impacts of climate change. Hopefully in the coming years, the rental market for our little fishy friend will have a few more options because of innovative restoration projects like Bon Accord. But projects like that are one of the many steps groups like Watershed Watch and Resilient Waters are making to create a better province for you and me and our fishy friend.